you know when we're sitting around camp like we are right now is the time we do small chores and one of the things that I'm gonna do tonight while I'm cooking up some food here is I'm gonna make some snare stands so that I can snare some small game I've got a half a dozen small game snares in my pack the only thing I really need for that is some sticks and a roll of trapping wire and my pliers and I keep these pliers in the front of my pack but when I'm on the trail or out in the woods I generally keep them tucked in my boot right here when I'm on the trap line so I can get to them really easy and they're just a pair of heavy jaw pliers that have line cutters in them or wire cutters in them on two sides so I'm gonna go ahead and move this camera up closer for you guys so you can see what I'm doing and I'm gonna show you how to make a quick and easy snare stand that you can use for small game snares stay with me okay so any stick will do that's nice and straight and fairly hard wood and I prepare the top of that pretty much just like I would a stake that I was going to put in the ground by bullnosing it over on the top so that when I hit it with my axe or whatever to drive it in if I have to it's not going to mushroom out then the bottom just needs to be very simple it can either be just a wedge or you can go ahead and cut it down to a three-sided point or a four-sided point doesn't matter you're just going to put that in the ground anyway okay this is all we need now to go along with that we're going to need about I don't know 10 inches of wire and this is just regular trap wire bailing wire bailing wire from a hardware store will work fine for this and you're just going to take this and wrap it around a couple of times and what I like to do is when I'm done with that I'll just take my pliers and I'll squash it down real good on there make sure I've got that tab bent over and just crimp it real good on there just like that so when I'm done I want something that looks like this now the next step in this to complete this is just to take a turn and I usually go to the width of my plier jaws and take a turn just like this and bring that down and that's where my whammy is going to go is on that and then I'll crimp that down on top of my whammy A rabbit out of this clearing about an hour ago there's a lot of small game trails coming out of this wooded area right here beside this clearing and this is like a pipeline and there's brush all along here heavy amounts of brush with small game trails coming in and out so I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our snare stands and we're going to set up about a half dozen small game snares in here see if we can test our luck let's get after it Here's our squirrel that we cooked up, boiled up, and you know, we got a little bit of an issue that we need to think about tonight, and this can happen to you 
in any situation like this. Right now we're living high off the hog. We got a coyote, we got a rabbit, and we got a squirrel all inside of three days. Squirrel sickle frozen, rabbit skinned and gutted, coyote hanging. The reason I'm eating a squirrel right now instead of eating some coyote meat is because tomorrow it's supposed to be above 40 degrees. Once it's above 40 degrees, now we got problems. Now that coyote is good and frozen all the way through. The squirrel was frozen too, but he's going to thaw out fast because of a small block of ice. The rabbit, same thing. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to stuff myself with food today and tomorrow morning because I know I'm not going to be able to preserve it without using some other technique. Now I could smoke it or something like that, but if I cook the meat, it's going to preserve it some. I could cook this meat, hang it up in a tree, and it'll be good tomorrow just as well as it is today, just like leftovers in your refrigerator. It's going to be that cool. It'll be right around 50 degrees, but it's not going to be cool enough to preserve raw meat. It's going to have to be cooked. So I'm going to eat squirrel now. I'm going to eat rabbit tomorrow. I'm hoping that my snares that I've got out right now, the coyote snares, the small game snares, things like that, and a couple traps that I have out don't produce too much tomorrow. That's my hope because I don't want to have to try to preserve the meat. My problem is that as it warms up, the animals will start to move more. And that could cause me to have a heyday on the trap line and be a huge pain for meat preservation things. So those are all the things that you have to contend with when you're trying to take your meat and take your sustenance off the land. Those are all things that you need to think about. So I'll just go in today, you know, into the next day, just like I am today. I'll see what happens, and the weather's going to dictate what I have to do next. Folks, I'm Dave Canterbury at the Pathfinder School. I thank you for joining me out here for another video. I thank you for everything you do for me, for our school, for our family, for all the folks that are affiliated with the Pathfinder School, Suffer Alliance Outfitters, and Pathfinder TV. I'll be back with another video as soon as I can. Thanks, guys.